All right, Cody, so I gotta ask you off the bat, man. Just growing up, obviously, you know, legendary, obviously legendary. But just growing up around baseball, who were some of your favorite players? Uh, Derek Jeter, for one. I mean, I play infield. Uh, growing up, I got, I got, fortunately, I got to take some ground balls with him when I was super young on a backfield uh, during spring training. Um, that was an awesome moment. Uh, yeah, he's definitely up there. I mean, just being around the game and a bunch of you know top players, especially with the Yankees, um, was awesome. So I gotta ask you, man, because you're, your dad's a legend. But sometimes, like, do you realize like how great as a pitcher he was? Like, I'm pretty sure you get told that all the time, but. How was it to like learn from him, man? Because like he's arguably the best pitcher of our generation, but to learn from him, how was that for you? Yeah, I mean it was unbelievable. I mean, growing up, I, I always tell my—I mean, I'm the youngest of four brothers, so mm -hmm. my oldest two brothers got to experience him when he was in his prime and all the hype was there and all that. And you know, I was young; I didn't really understand what was going on. But uh, later in his career, when it was when we were in Houston and he was playing for the Astros, that's when I started to realize like who he was and how good he was and why all these people came out to watch him every night. Um, and, you know, it was awesome because, you know, he would go out and throw, and if he had a good or bad game, whether it was good or bad, he'd come home, and he was just dad to us. So, like, he cleared his mind whether he shoved or he didn't and, and came back home and was just regular dad. And, you know, everybody sees him, uh, how he was on the mound. No one knows what he was like off the field. So um, I think he's trying to get back out in front of the cameras and stuff and get his name back out there a little bit, show – Everybody, you know, that he's a great guy. and um, You know, he's not just that intimidating pitcher that was on the mound during his career. Oh, I love it, man. So I'm pretty sure growing up you played video games, and obviously he was on video games. But <laughs> now to see yourself on a video game, especially MLB The Show, what do you think about that in the first time that you saw yourself on a video game? It was weird. I remember, I don't know where I was playing, maybe a couple of years ago when they first started making the minor league players or whatever. And I was in there, and I was like, holy cow, this is that's me, you know, this is yeah. weird. Uh, obviously growing up playing MLB The Show and all those other games, uh, to see yourself in the video games, you know, pretty surreal moment. I like that, I like that. So, one thing I did some research on you, you're a UT fan. Yeah. So, I gotta ask you, man, look at this guy named Arch Manning. I don't know if you know who he is. No, I know who he is. Yeah, so, what do you think about that? Because you already got Quinn over there. Yeah. What do you see from your Longhorns in football, man? I mean, I'm hoping for the best. I mean, every year, you know, all of us Longhorn Nation get our hopes up. You know, we're a strong fan base. You know, everybody hates us, um, and that's that's why we love them. You know, everyone hates us because they want to beat us. So, um, I mean, I'm hoping the best for them. Uh, hopefully, I can get down in the fall to see them play. You know, I hope Quinn Ewers throws, throws the ball well this season. We got some good guys, you know, our running backs, the best in the country, and uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm rooting for them. I like that. So. I did that Mount Rushmore question, you probably heard it, but I'm going to ask you this. Obviously, your baseball Mount Rushmore, I'm not going to break it down to position for you. I need your four for your Mount Rushmore in your time that you watch. Obviously, you were able to talk about shagging balls with Jeter and different things, but who is your four that you would say? I mean, Mount Jeter's Rushmore? obviously on there. I mean, I'm biased, but I throw my dad on there. Okay. Um, how many are there? Is four? Yeah. Four? Um, you got two more. I mean, honestly, like, I love watching Shohei Otani. I mean, I'll probably throw him on there to see what he does on the mound and hitting both sides of the field is unbelievable and that he does it every single day and he produces on both sides. So that's pretty crazy to watch. And I got fortunately got to face him the other night, which was pretty cool. Um, so he'll probably be on there. And dang, I got to go with someone like, I mean, Albert Pujols. I would say I remember watching him hit that Homer off of Brad Lidge in that, uh, what was it, the ALCS or yeah. DS? I don't know, or NLCS, I forgot which one it was, but it was that Minute made and I saw him, you know, hit that Homer and it was silent in that stadium. So I'd probably go with those four. I like that. So you said you got a walk up song. It's called Cody Clemens. You got anybody do your song? Any artist? It's your walk up song. Who do you want to do your walk up song? Dead or alive, by the way, you can pick anybody. Um, I mean, I got. I mean, I'm, I like Drake, but I feel like everybody likes Drake, so it's kind of just cliche to say Drake. But I'll go with Drake. <laughs> right, I, I like that. Whatever. Like that. And last question for me. So it's the fanatics' big question of the day for you. So, what is your favorite baseball movie? Memory. Did you say memory? Favorite baseball. baseball memory? No, baseball movie. Movie. Oh, um, Field of Dreams. Okay, so let's just say by chance you get a chance to have, they want you in the movie, but they want your likeness, but you have to pick an actor to play you in the movie. Play you in the movie. Play me in the movie. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm going with Kevin Costner. There you go. 
He's in the movie. He's in the movie. He's a great actor. I love Yellowstone. Uh, I mean, he does, he's in a bunch of stuff that I like. So he's a great actor. And short story, he was really good friends with Augie Garrido, and I, you know, I played under Augie at Texas. So um, I didn't get to meet him, but Augie told us a few good stories about him, and so I, I'd go with him. Oh man, well, Cody, man, keep doing your thing out there. Congratulations on your success, man. And you know, I hope to see you definitely in, in many years from now, and then we're gonna have some great stories to tell as well. Yeah, so, for sure. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank time. you. Thank Appreciate you. it.